folks, for most of your time moving around in the mountains, kicking steps will work really well and cramponing will work really well. But there may be times when you're out in the hills when cutting steps is something that's going to be very useful to use as well. And you may need to use the cutting steps technique if you break a crampon or maybe you've forgotten your crampons or if you've got a short patch of hard snow or ice where you don't think it's worth putting your crampons on for and cutting steps would manage you along. It's a very effective technique but it does take a little bit of practice to use. The axe is all important when it comes to cutting steps in that you need it to be a good length to allow you to sort of reach the snow effectively. You want to have a good size of adds that allow the step to be cut well. And this is certainly a time where I carry my leash and I'd put my leash on because you're going to be swinging your axe reasonably aggressively and to let it go or to lose it would be an unfortunate part of the day. So what we'll start off with looking at is the slash step, which is the most common step to use. And this again is useful in ascent, descent and going diagonally across the slopes as well. So when it comes to being effective and efficient with these uh, slash steps, the pendulum of the swing starts somewhere out here with a slight bend of the wrist and a slight bend of the arm. And then as the axe drops, the arm drops into a straighter position. So as the adds strikes the snow surface, your arm is almost locked into position. It'll strike through the snow, but the swing actually finishes somewhere back here like a pendulum action or like a swinging ship at a fair. So stepping up into the slope and just kick to improve the step, slash, kick to improve the step, slash, kick to improve the step. And once you find your rhythm and you find an effective way of doing this, then it can actually be reasonably quick moving up the slope. The nice thing about slash steps are they give you a range of movement across the hillside. You can use it in ascent straight up, you can use it going up and diagonal, and you can use it in descent as well. So coming up across the slope here, again, going straight up the hill, just side to side steps as I come up through the slope. And once you get that rhythm going, it can be quite efficient. If I wanted to travel more forwards, I can just start to slash step out in front of me a wee bit more and this would allow a bit more of a diagonal type rising traverse across the slope here. But the nice thing about them is they also work very well in descent. You obviously need to reach the, the ground that's closer to you on the uphill side, slightly further away on the downhill side. So to achieve a good balanced position to slash step downhill, I'll often take my uphill hand or my forearm and just balance it on the thigh of my uphill leg. And this gives me a strong position and drops me low enough to reach the slow snow below me. It's the same pendulum type action to strike the snow, but you just need to squat a wee bit more just to strike the snow below you. This time you need to leave a bit of a gap, almost a step in between your feet to allow you to step your downhill foot into a new step. So I'll strike below, step my downhill foot in, leaving room for my uphill foot to kick in as well. So slash, step down, step down. Slash, step, step, 